everybody. This is Mike at TOPS. Uh, welcome to our webinar today, uh, our one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I am the president and CEO here at TOPS Software. I'm joined today by Terry Perez. Terry, say hello. Hello. Uh, and also by Andrea Hardy. Please say hello. Hi, everyone. Uh, Terry is our VP of Business Development. Andrea is our Director of Customer Success. Uh, a lot of the things we're talking about today are related to how we're really driven to improve the experience for our customers. Uh, and so it's really important for Terry and Andrea to sit in today as well to kind of share some of their thoughts on the above. All right, thank you both for making time to sit in today. Thank you. Glad to be here. A little I'm glad bit that about... here. The, oh. the webinar is a lot better looking now that Andrea is here. <laughs> way, way better looking, for sure. Way better looking. Uh, just a little bit about me. I've been in software and technology for a long time, for uh, 23 years now. I've got four kids. Uh, and a little bit about TOPS. We are HOA condo-centric technology. It's all we do. We don't try to dabble in other things. We just focus on community management. Uh, you can say it's in our DNA. We have about 105 full-time staff. Uh, we are family-led business, so my dad, my brother, and I. Uh, but we also have private equity backing, which kind of makes us like the best of both worlds. And we're in use today to manage over 6 million doors across the USA. So a little bit about us, a little bit about me. Today, what we're going to be talking about is just going to remind everybody what our vision is here at TOPS. Why do we do what we do? We're going to take some time to talk about news and updates. There's a lot of things that happen every quarter. And this is our opportunity to kind of share the things that we've been working on, but also then kind of highlight some products and features that have come out and also even give you a peek into what's about to come out later this year. And then at the end, we always want to spotlight something kind of new and innovative about the company. Sometimes it's a key team member. Today, we want to talk about how we're really doubling down on the user experience. So that is our agenda. Let's jump in. Tops, our vision has always been since the day that my dad founded this company, is built around the knowledge that community management is hard and that we exist to make our clients' lives easier. Uh, my dad owned a management company. My brother and I grew up in community management. You know, stuffing envelopes in front of the TV on a Friday night for doing mailings, uh, you know, sleep, uh, sleeping in the office and doing homework in there while my mom and dad uh, got board meeting packets prepared. Like community management is what I grew up and we grew up living and eating. And so our focus as a family has always been on trying to make our clients' lives easier. And we do that by unifying every aspect of the HOA. And if you look at this kind of Venn diagram to the side or the, the flower off to the side, you know, we really want to bring every core constituent that is a part of the HOA fully into the ecosystem. So that's the owners, it's the management staff, it's the board members, it's the third party services, it's the vendors. So when, when we can bring all this together, we know that we are making our clients' lives easier because staying on top of all of this is not hard, or is, is not easy, it's hard. And we want to make it easier. And the big thing we want to unpack today is that you know, we're really excited to announce that we're bringing vendor engagement and AP automation to bear as a part of the TOPS One platform. So we're going to really unpack that here today. Uh, Andrea, Terry, any comments on this? Uh, I have a, a little bit of a comment. You're, um, I, and Mike, you kind of hit on it a little bit. You know, we talk, we're talking about uh, a lot of what we're doing as a, as a company as far as our services and our product. Um, I just wanted to, t to take a few minutes to, to also kind of remind everybody that we've been, like Mike said, we've been doing this for 30 years. Um, I just ran through the, I just ran through the, the, the names of, of who's in attendance right now. Melanie Barkadarian, Steve Caballero, Trevor Midgley, Beth Schlomer, Barbara Smith, Jenny Lawson, Jason Schoenholtz, uh, Deepak and, and Tejas Kadia, Fran Diggs, Brandy Gazzardo down in, down in Louisiana, Kevin Decody, Kim Johnson, Terry yep. Henderson, Scott Hedger, Tina Bennett. These are all customers that I've talked to since I started working here 11 years ago, Mike. Um, and some of those names that I just mentioned have been with Tops for 20 years or longer. So um, when we talk about what we bring to the table, we bring relationship to the table as well. And, and so what you're going to see um, throughout these slides that Mike's going to talk about is also going to talk about that and expose that as well. So welcome, friends, old and new. Well said. Mm -hmm. Well said. So when we think about this, bringing everything together, what we really talk about with our clients today is that we want to provide 
the platform plus the portals plus the payment tools plus the services that help you to do your job easier and more effectively. So today, what's really exciting when you look at the things that we're bringing to bear, you know, we can bring that, that cloud-based accounting and management engine. We can actually become your back office and provide accounting services if you need that. We have the ability to embed payment services to make it easier to get the association paid and make it easier for the owners to make payments online. We bring on websites and portals for board members and owners advanced messaging for SMS and voice broadcast. And again, the really exciting piece is the new piece, vendor uh, management, AP online submission, uh, being able to process AP digitally without any need for physically touching the mail. Again, that's really, really exciting because that's kind of been like this last piece of the puzzle that we're working on. So as we look at it today, understand like our goal, the reason why we do what we do is we love to make our clients' lives easier. And we do it through technology and we do it through services. And lately, we've been getting a lot of really good feedback from you, our clients, about how well we've done. You know, when we launched Tops One back in late 2016, we didn't come out the gate, uh, you know, as well as we would have liked to have. There was a lot of learning we had to do as an organization. But the good news is, as we sit here today, we have matured so much in the business. The product is rock solid, better than ever. We are adding features on a regular basis. Clients are growing their businesses as a result of using tops one uh, so again looking at some of the recent testimonials these reviews we're getting it's just affirmation that when we say we set out to make our clients lives easier you're telling us that we indeed are doing that so again we're very very grateful for this andrea terry any comments on this before we move ahead that's oh, great I, I think we're seeing a lot of positive reviews and it and it really lends towards you know the CS team and, and helping to onboard our clients and being there for them and being an advocate. Uh, I think that's made a big difference. And, you know, I, I know those relationships go a long way and in, in helping people get up and going and, and really adopting and learning all the, the cool features that are in Tops One. Yeah, Mike, I, you know, I, we talk a, a lot about it and we don't talk enough about our secret weapon. Oh, wait, that way that way our secret weapon Andrea and kind of when you look at these reviews you know a lot of this reviews if you look at this this is about staff you know the support team is amazing great company and good customer service the implementation team is amazing um, if you just we could talk about implementation all day long but one of the things that Andrea brings to the table as our director of customer success is that she owned a management company that was 20,000 doors in Texas she was one of our clients um, that used that used uh, the, the software. So having somebody that used to own a management company that started from the bottom and grew it to twenty thousand doors, to my in my opinion, Mike, that's been a game changer for us when it comes to implementation in our onboarding. Yeah, no doubt, no yeah. doubt. So you know, we we want to kind of promote that we are doing things better than ever. Um, and again, we appreciate the positive feedback from clients when they let us know that they see it too. So. What have we been doing as a company over the last kind of three months to kind of make our clients' lives easier? So let's kind of park on this for a little bit. Um, over the last three months, it's been a really kind of crazy three months, but not just for us, for every single one of you as well. So we actually closed our offices officially the second week of March. Uh, so as we sit here today in August, we still are physically closed. So while you know, I'm in the office right now and Terry is in the office right now. Our hundred plus staff are working remote today from their bedrooms, their kitchen tables. Um, and if you haven't noticed like an interruption with service, good. We're hoping that it, you know, the fact that we are working remotely has not caused any impact to you guys and being able to take care of you. But one of the things we also did when COVID came around is we realized that this was an unprecedented event. Now, regionally, we know as an industry, we'll have hurricanes in Florida, we will have fires or mudslides out west, but rarely do you have something nationally happen, which is, has been this disruptive to the industry. And the, really, the disruptive part is not only being the, been the kind of closing of offices and people beginning to work remotely, it's just the sheer loss of jobs that people have seen as a result of COVID. So we launched a series of webinars in Q2 really framed around there's probably a delinquency or collections bubble on the horizon as people who've lost their jobs uh, begin to fall on tougher times. 
and we took time to craft a series to help our clients get ready for that collection you know, uh, disaster that maybe that, that is looming in the future. So we ran about five webinars. Andrea spearheaded, I think all five of them, Andrea, is that right? Yeah. Uh, any key takeaways from that? Because we do have the link here for people to go and watch them, but any key takeaways that you'd want to share with people about you know, COVID and, and the loss of jobs and, and kind of the risk to delinquency for the associations? Well, I think that, you know, this this instance can happen in, in a lot of different scenarios. So other than COVID, just being prepared and, and really ready for something that could, uh, you know, occur. So what's your plan for, you know, dealing with delinquencies and, and how to just, you know, have a tighter process on, on how you're doing this and, and getting out in front of it. Um, and I know talking with some of our clients, you know, not everyone has experienced anything yet as far as, um, you know, the uh, accounts receivable really increasing, but some of them have. So I think it's, you know, it's just going to vary based on the type of portfolios and the locations that our clients are in. Yeah, I think the, the big thing is, is getting prepared. And again, if you, if you didn't sit in on those webinars, I encourage you guys, uh, there's a link here. We can share the link after the fact. You can watch any of those kind of webinars on demand to kind of get caught up. But I'm hoping, like Andrew said, that that our clients are not affected too dramatically by this. But it's always best to be prepared. And so we just want to help you guys be prepared. The other thing we we also kind of did as we got into kind of COVID is we began to realize that, you know, it probably was a good idea to begin to prioritize allowing our clients to remotely print and, and send mail. So you probably saw in Q2 that we uh, kind of rapidly got mailing features into the app for, again, remote print and mail for collections letters, violation letters, other kind of general communications, bills. As people's lives were interrupted, we wanted to think about ways that we could help you to continue to do the job even if you couldn't be in the office. So again, Getting some feedback from somebody here. Um, not sure who that is. Uh, we also began to think about how we can help get clients to get familiar with our apps a little bit easier. And so we uh, started to implement a new platform called Walk Me Inside of Tops One. We're going to actually unpack that today in our spotlight because that's all about helping to drive a really positive user experience for you. We also began implementing Drift on our corporate website all designed around making it easier for visitors to get information from the website that they need without having to necessarily kind of wait for us. And one of the exciting things too, it's been a long time coming, but we actually partnered with HomeWise Docs to make it easier to integrate for clients that are using HomeWise with Tops. Uh, now there's a formal integration that you can take advantage of. And one of the things I forgot to put on here, but still worth mentioning, is we also did the same thing with Smart Webs. So if you're using Smart Webs and Tops, there's now a live, kind of interaction or integration that you can take advantage of. And the other big thing that happened in Q2 is that we welcomed our 500th Tops One client to the fold. So that's a massive milestone for us as a company. Uh, if you know anything about the landscape and how many kind of organizations are out there that kind of do what we do, uh, 500 clients is probably more than a lot of our competitors have total HOA clients. And the fact that we have 500 in one now uh, that's a pretty big accomplishment. So thank you everybody who's kind of taken that leap of faith and, and partnered with us with Tops One. Andrea, Terry, anything you'd want to add to this? No, I think you covered it pretty good, Mike. Yeah. So what have we said, seen on the product side? Well, we've been really, really busy on the product side. Uh, Vendor Ally got released to production in Q2, and we're going to actually spend most of our time today talking about Vendor Ally, what it is, why it's important to you. On AAR statement side, you know, separate print and email PDFs. This is just something that was a pain that we should have solved a long time ago. And I apologize to anybody that had to wait as long as they had to to get that fixed, but we got it done in Q2. We got Tops Pay fully integrated across all of our portal products. We got mailroom for CCR letters, like I was talking about. Again, it's really important to remotely print those letters. If you have people that can't get to the office, if you're having people that are just, you know, are sick or just don't want to be uh, kind of exposed to the risk of getting sick, letting people be able to do their job and still have these outputs going out is really, really critical. 
Uh, we've been spending a ton of time on improving the user experience inside of Top Swan. So when you build an application, particularly like we built with Top Swan, you're never really done. And the devil's in the details. It really is in all the little things that you want to get fine-tuned and tweaked to make that experience the best it can be. And we dedicated a lot of time in Q2 towards uh, improving that user experience. And we're continuing to dedicate a lot of time here in Q3 to that exact same thing, which is just really polishing up this application to make it something that is super intuitive and easy to use. Uh, Andrea, Terry, I know that that's something you're both passionate about. Anything particular mm -hmm. on the usability stuff that you'd want to talk about? I would just say that we're, we're you know, as customer success, talking to clients every day, one of the things that we're doing is gathering your feedback and then we're, you know, spearheading, getting some of these things in front of development. Um, so, you know, every bit of information that you give to your CS person is taken seriously. We we put that all into, you know, what we're going to roadmap as, uh, you know, presenting to development. So, start to look for some some, you know, enhancements and different things, and, and we'll be keeping everybody updated. Yeah, Mike, I, I, I'm kind of right there with you. All the things that we have going, very exciting. Um, and I don't, I think I can speak for everybody when I say that being with Tops for 11 years, I've never been more proud of where we are as a company um, and, and where our product is. So for me, I, I share the same excite, excitement with, with Andrea. You know, you talk to our, to our clients that have been with us for so long. Who knows the pains that they go through better than the people that have done business with them for 20 years and 10 years, right? And so for us, when we're able to go and solve problems that we've been living with for the past 11 years um, and, and be able to provide a better service and a better company and, and a better product, uh, that, that makes me excited. And so what, what we see right now, um, I, there was a question in the, that popped up that, are there any tools in, in TOPS 1 that, that are there for, specifically for the pandemic? You think about TOPS 1, TOPS 1 was built to survive something like this. Yeah, true. Go oh. ahead, sorry. No, no, go, keep going. You're on a roll. <laughs> uh, no, you're right. I mean, look, Tops One being entirely web-based means that you don't have to worry about being in your office or even on your computer to do your job. It means that you can work on a tablet, on a phone. You could be on a, a neighbor's computer. You could be anywhere and still get your job done. I think you're right. That, when it comes to COVID, that is something that you can't underscore how critical that is to be able to have it be business as usual when everything else is kind of falling to pieces. And then the things that we prioritize, the portals, the online payment tools for owners with portals, the remote printing of, of mail, uh, all these things that normally would be kind of in the office a little bit more manual, you know, making them so that they're done online 24 seven, you know, with or without somebody being participatory, like that is all about helping our clients, you know, be more effective while they're working remotely. So I'm with you. You know, Tops One was built for this. And these, these business practices, just kind of to that point, Terry, too, these aren't just good business practices today uh, because of COVID. These are good business practices, period, where you sit there and you identify what those single points of failure are in your business and you remove them. And Tops One is a great example of removing a single point of failure. That's right. 100%, Mike. And, and not just when it comes to the the pandemic. If you think about some of our clients right now, what do we know through the pandemic? We know that all the homeowners are home and they're blowing up your phones and blowing up your email boxes. Um, but we also know that our customers have never been busier and that they have more proposals out now more than ever. So one of the things that, that you talk that we talk about is not just solving problems, but also helping our customers expand their businesses. And so right now you guys know that finding a good property manager is going to be a task. And so one of the things that, that I've noticed that our clients do is use TOPS 1, not just to manage their communities, but also to attract talent for themselves, because now they're not beholden to an office. And if you can go out and find that bomb property manager that allows you to build that business somewhere that's not right in your local area, TOPS 1 is going to be a vehicle to help you do that. That's a great point. That's a really good point. And we've seen that. We've, we've, we've heard from, from clients that have actually expanded their geography and their coverage because of their ability to now use that web application. So it's, it's not something that we just talk about. It's actually something that people are doing right now. Yeah. You know, and, and we think about that. Like, we also spend a lot of time in Q2 improving the data conversion tools to make it easier than ever to get somebody from a legacy version of TOPS to TOPS 1. Uh, we know that that is probably the biggest thing that holds people back 
from from moving forward is just kind of the fear of going through that that conversion event. So we've spent a ton of time and energy to kind of make those tools as solid as possible. We're bringing more data over than ever. It is quite honestly the easiest it's ever been. So if that's something that's ever held you back, uh, now would be a great time to rethink about it. We've also increased our ability to, TOPS1 has a, a really like an unlimited ability for you to set up custom data inside of the app. And we've got a really great custom field import tool, which makes bringing in data in mass from other solutions, even kind of spreadsheets into TOPS1, super easy, particularly mapping it into these custom fields. Andrew, do you have any comments on that one? No, you covered it. You know, that's one that I spearheaded to make sure that we put that in the client's hands so that I know that it's not going to be the only time during data conversion that they're going to to want to import information and, and it may not be something that's readily available. So that ability to create that custom field and, and just suck all that data in just saves a ton of manual time. Yeah. yeah. And what makes it even more powerful is not just the fact that you can input it, but you can report on it, right? Yeah. And so that's what really, really makes it so valuable. And so one of the things that I, when I started at Tops, I was responsible for supporting everything that was not accounting. So if you're on here and you know me, you know that I don't trust me with anything to do with your books. Um, but, but one of the things that was powerful in Tops Pro or our, our, our legacy platforms was the ability to have that flux data and report on it. We took it a step further in, in, in one, not only can you have those data fields, those custom data fields, you can actually place those custom data fields on different screens. So if you're looking at the owner, you're looking at the community, you're looking at the vendor, you're able to now customize that field to, to, to put that information that, that you'd like there. Second part of that also is that we took the reporting capabilities of that, of that custom information and we put that on steroids. Um, there's and and or and if if logic there built into those reports. So it's really, really powerful. It's definitely something that I can talk about for a long time. Well, we'll make that another webinar for another day. Got it. Got it. Uh, talked about it before, but we, we got SmartWeb's API integration this past quarter, which is great. We've got a ton of clients in common. and It means that they can work more seamlessly together. Uh, we invested a lot of time in global search and want to make it faster. Uh, global search is one of our seminal features in TOPS1. Uh, what's crazy is a lot of our competition today still doesn't have a global search capability inside of their app. And we made that a, a core tenant with TOPS1 because we see that as the main vehicle for getting around the app. And so we wanted to make it as fast as possible. So we had a ton of uh, Ton of work we did in Q2 just related to really in, in, uh, improving the, the speed of that global search. And then lastly, again, that HomeWise Docs partnership, great company, uh, really excited that we're now partners and clients can have an integrated experience between TOPS and them. So again, a lot of stuff we've been doing in Q2, and some of these things are worth unpacking a little bit deeper because they're bigger feature things. And that's where I wanna go next. And the big thing I want to unpack with you guys today is vendor engagement and AP automation. Uh, we have been working on these two threads now for the better part of six to nine months. These are things that we think are critical to you as a, a management company or an association because you've got the vendor that provides services that are very important for them to get done. And traditionally, that vendor has sat outside of the community technology ecosystem. So why do we think vendor engagement makes good sense? Because what we know in talking to our clients that managing vendors can consume up to 25% of their staff time. And your staff time is already pretty thin today as it is when you think about managing board members and homeowners, processing communications, delinquency, late letters, getting your bills out, getting financials prepared for the board meeting. So if there's 25% of your time that's allocated just to having to interface with vendors, we want to find a way to help you reclaim some of that time. Historically, vendors have been done manually. So you've had to chase them down with faxes and emails and phone calls. And all of that stuff is just more work for you and your team. And again, I said it a second ago, but it's really important to say it again. A vendor plays a critical role in a well-run community. That vendor, be it a lawn and tree trimming company, whether it's the company that takes care of the pool, whether it's a vendor that uh, provides 
blacktop payment or HVAC services, if it's an attorney, if it's a, a CPA firm, you rely on them to get things done in a timely manner. So why vendor engagement makes good sense is because you need them in order to be successful. So what is Vendor Ally? You know, Vendor Ally is the name of our vendor portal. Ally, if you look it up, is a person or an organization that cooperates with or helps another in a particular activity. And in this case, vendors are your ally for the betterment of the association. What's great about Vendor Ally is that Vendor Ally, this vendor portal, is included with all versions of TOPS 1 at no additional charge. And let me unpack that. That means that there's no charge to the management company. It means that there's no charge to the association. It means that there's no charge to the vendor. We believe so strongly that the vendor needs to be part of your ecosystem so that you can reclaim some of that time that we're willing to put our money where our mouth is and just give it to you as part of the service. How much was that, Mike? I don't think I was clear enough, but it's completely 100% free. <laughs> Uh, one other thing to understand about the Vendor Ally portal is it is a global vendor portal. And that's a really, really important distinction. This is different than the typical association or community management company portals, which you are familiar with today, which can be branded. What we know is that vendors will typically work with more than one management company. And we want to keep it very, very simple for them. So instead of them having to go to management company A's vendor portal and then management company B's vendor portal, we give them a single portal to go and work with, lets them have a single login that they can manage. And from there, they can then work with all the different management companies and all the different associations that they serve inside of TOPS1. So the only thing that that vendor really needs is an email address. And once they have that, they have the ability to claim their account and then they can begin to work with you in real time through the vendor portal, and again, at no extra cost to you guys. Did I do a good job kind of laying that out? Yeah, I mean, I yes. the only thing I wanted to add was that, you know, if you think about that vendor alley and just, just the elimination of, of invoices and paper, mm -hmm. I've been to so many management companies across the United States. I've actually been to some of the offices of the people that I named at the beginning, and I'm not gonna expose them, um, but but you go there, you go to, to a management company's office, and the hallways are filled with boxes of paper. The storage room that used to contain the, the brooms and everything, that now is filled with accounts payable invoices and paper. Um, so so the ability for you just to gain back some real estate in your office, you know that should be that should be worth it alone. But the the going green part of it is is a hundred percent something that that our clients are finding value. Yeah, no, I agree, and. One thing that I that I could say is vendors are notorious about not putting the community on their invoice, and so you you end up spending all your time researching where you know who's this invoice belong to. Does anybody know the community? And so having them you know automatically assign the community is going to be such a time saver, you know, in utilizing um, you know the features of of Vendor Ally. Well, you guys are you guys are talking about it, so let's let's unpack this a little bit deeper. So what if a, if you deploy Vendor Ally, what happens? What can the vendor do? So in this case, uh, I'm logged in as a vendor. Uh, my company name is Dangerously Enterprises. Uh, <laughs> little uh, hat tip to Johnny Dangerously. Uh, so once I log in, we've given them a really basic interface that allows them to easily see all their information and manage it. So I can see all my information as relates to my contact info. I can see all the information related to my insurance information. And I can see a small menu off to the side. But I can quickly come in here and review and update this contact information. And when I do this, guess what? That update flows directly back to you in real time into TOPS1. So now instead of your staff having to chase vendors down for updates on their mailing address, their email, their phone number. They can provide all those updates themselves, reducing the staff time for you. Probably more exciting than that is that they can actually submit and review AP invoices online. And it's so important. We're going to actually park that for a second and go on to the next point, which we also let them update their insurance information online so you don't have to chase them down. So in this case, I've got an expired policy. The vendor 
can log in, see that they have that in, uh, expired policy, click edit, provide the updated information. And if you notice at the very bottom, it says attachment, they can put a copy of their insurance policy. Uh, they can upload it here for you so that you have it and can see it in real time inside of Top Spawn. This is all about bringing that vendor closer to you so that they can participate better in the day-to-day -day operation of the community. The big thing in going to market beyond them being able to update their contact information, preferences, and insurance is the whole online AP submission. And why is this important? Through Vendor Ally, a vendor can view their AP invoices inside of one. One of the pieces of feedback we've gotten from clients over the years is that vendors, not only do they like submitting bills, they like getting paid even more. And if they're hard up for cash, they might be banging your door down to find out when they're getting paid. So they actually gives them a peek inside a top one where they can see the different AP that they've submitted. They can see the amount, the reference, the status. And the real big thing is that status will let them know if that has been accepted, if it's been approved, if it's been posted, if it's been paid. So instead of them having to bother you, they can log in and see that that AP item has been paid. But what makes it even more exciting for the vendor is they can also go there and they can submit their AP directly to the association online. So historically, a vendor would have to go and uh, you know, enter their information like in QuickBooks to render the bill, print the bill out, maybe take it, shove it in an envelope, drop it in the mail to the, your office, or maybe they would attach it to an email and send it to you. Now they can render that AP or bill to you guys. They can log into the portal. They can enter the amount, pick the customer, put in a description, attach a copy, and hit submit. And in real time, that AP bill is now inside of TOPS 1 where you and your staff can see it. The big thing is, is this is 100% real time and getting that AP bill into TOPS 1 doesn't require any manual work for you or your team. So again, if we're thinking about reclaiming time for you and your staff when it relates to vendors and AP, if we can eliminate some of the data updates from vendors and let the vendor do it, that reclaims some time for you guys. And if we can further reduce the time by letting the vendor key in the details and attach their invoice images, now we've also taken away a key step on the AP entry side as well. Andrea, Terry, anything you'd want to comment on this? Uh, it's just awesome. One of the one of the great things about Tops One is that it has unlimited storage capacity. So we're not uh, as much as you can put in. That's that's going to be something that's value for you because again, we're not charging you extra for that. So somebody that's managing two communities or somebody that's managing 200 communities, we want you to store that data inside Tops One so that you don't have to have the boxes all throughout the the, the office. Yeah. And just, it's amazing to think that you've got all that on your phone. You can pull it up, you can see the image, yep. you know, just in my mind, and, and, and I'm from the management days where everything was pen and paper and, you know, you, you didn't lug your computer around. So that, that just blows my mind that, that you could have that much of, you know, exposure to everything that you're doing and managing so quickly. Yeah, it's a great point. So when you, when you actually have this turned on, Inside of TOPS 1 is a new menu item under accounts payable called AP Inbox. And that AP Inbox is your digital in-app mailbox for all invoices that are coming through Vendor L. So just like you would go to the mailbox to get the physical mail, the AP Inbox inside of TOPS 1 is where you get your digital AP mail from your vendors. What we set out to do when we made this is we made it so that you retain 100% control over what flows into your system. With that, the portal itself is free. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost the vendor anything. It doesn't cost the association anything. Neither does each individual AP bill that gets submitted. There's no fee for you to accept these AP bills into TOPS 1. Zero cost to you or the vendor to submit these bills and manage them in the app. There's a feature that's been in TOPS 1 for, gosh, 18, 24 months called Vendor Default Distributions. Probably one of the uh, features that doesn't get used often enough and probably one of the most powerful features when you think about 
AP automation. And that simply allows you to define in community A, when this vendor submits a bill, by default, expense it across this general ledger chart, like charge codes, this way. This AP inbox works seamlessly with that vendor default distribution. So that if a vendor has already been defined, you know exactly how you want to expense bills from that vendor in that community, you simply have to click that accept button in green and it flows right in like any other manually entered AP. In the event that there is no default distribution set up, you no longer have the green accept button. Instead, you have a view button, which allows you to pop that AP into a new tab where you can review it, you can code it, and then post it into your AP system. But the other big feature here is the notion that you can reject it. Mm -hmm. And because we know that the vendor doesn't always submit information correctly, maybe they picked the wrong community, maybe they fat fingered the amount, maybe they got the attachment incorrect. You can reject it, you can put the reason why you reject it, it takes it out of your inbox, it puts it back in the vendor portal where they then can see it's been rejected with the reason why, and they can take steps to fix it. What's great, again, is there's zero annual data entry for you and your staff to take advantage of this. A fully fleshed out AP item is in your system with the attachment and the labor is zero. This is faster than opening the mail and manual entering. It's 100% contactless. In this day and age, we want to kind of help you keep your team safe. There's no need to physically touch a mail carrier or mail to do this. It's more accurate than having AP items sent to a generic email box. Sorry. Sure, you can have an email sent in with an attachment, but you still have to put that attachment somewhere. And even if you were to forward it to a system that tried to suck it in for you, there's still some manual connecting of the dots that your staff has to do. All of that goes away when you're using the vendor ally with the AP inbox. And it's way quicker than using a separate AP post office box because we're eliminating all the time in transit for the mail. So again, when you see all the news today about the USPS and how mail can get disrupted, this just takes the post office out of the equation. Terry, Andrew, any comments you'd want to add to this? Mike, I just, you know, it's, it can't underscore it enough that so many of our clients and, and, and even clients, even people that are not our clients, they're used to having uh, another vendor or some additional party come in as, as that kind of accounts payable person. So again, for, for us to have this option in our software now so that they don't have to use somebody else and that they don't have to sync with another company, I think that that's very powerful. It's, it's sometimes it's hard for somebody that's using one of our legacy applications to kind of wrap their head around that, that there is no sync. There's no sync, it's real-time data that happens right now. So as soon as you, as you input that invoice, as soon as you do that, the vendor sees it, you see it, whoever sees it, it's all real-time. So this is available today. Again, this, this is there. We've got this uh, in pilot with a handful of clients, but this is there today, ready to be turned on. So if you're using TOPS1, uh, you know, we can turn this on today for you. And again, there is no cost to this. Beyond what we've delivered, a couple things that we've got kind of in the works. Uh, the rest of Q3, we will be adding the ability for you to activate electronic payments to vendors. Uh, real quickly, how that will work, the vendor can opt to receive an electronic payment. The vendor can register their bank account. We will use ACH to do that because most vendors have a bank account, but not every vendor has the ability to take a credit card. So we want to make it as easy for you and for them as possible. It eliminates the time and cost to print a check. So again, uh, not only can you reduce the time to get the AP item into TOPS 1, but then you can eliminate the need to actually print and mail checks out on the other side. What's even more powerful is that you and the association retain complete control over when those funds get dispersed. It just becomes a part of the make payment screen where if you go to make a payment and a vendor wants to get it electronically, instead of printing a check, it'll initiate an electronic transaction for them. And the vendor gets the convenience of having funds deposited into their bank account. So by the end of Q3, we should have this ready to go and begin to kind of let clients take advantage of it. Looking forward into Q4 of 2020, 2021, what we plan to do with Vendor Ally is bringing online the ability for them to manage their work orders in Vendor Ally as well. So adding comments on the work that's assigned to them, 
you know, sending them reminders that a work order is missed its due date and bringing them back to the portal to kind of get it back to the front of their brain, allowing them to let you know when they've completed work so that you could go back and make sure that it was done appropriately. So again, we're, we're just getting going on the vendor engagement and AP automation, but I think there's a lot of stuff that's been done that gets, that gets you know, it's enough to get really excited about. Oh, that's awesome. All right. We got another kind of good thing to look at too. So that's vendor engagement and AP automation, kind of what we've got today and what's coming up over the next, call it this quarter and next. The other big thing is we've been making a ton of work on our smart banking. You know, we came into Building Tops One with a thesis that banks needed to be an integral part of the app. And so in Q2 and what we're actively working on here in Q3 is really turbocharging our smart banking. Uh, the UI is remaining largely unchanged and that's important because we don't want to kind of introduce a, a lot of kind of change management or retraining for you. Uh, but the login will be simp like simplified as we do releases. The big new features coming online and there's going to be more features even beyond this. So this is just what you should see really any day now. Supported banks have real-time balances. So Alliance, CIT, PAC Premier, you'll be able to see in the app a real-time balance that we're fetching directly from the bank when you go to that screen. You'll be able to see AR check images from the lockbox for Alliance, CIT, PAC Premier, Union Bank. Downloading statements directly into TOPS1 and saving them into the bank account folder and the community folder for Alliance, CIT, PAC Premier, Union Bank. And getting rid of some of the older legacy integrations that were dependent on the SFTP to an API integration where possible. But let's take a look at what this actually looks like. So if you're not familiar with uh, kind of TOPS1, a couple things just to show you. This is what a traditional kind of bank account looks like. And you notice you've got two KPIs at the top. You've got the GL balance, which is what TOPS thinks you have. And then you have next to it in the green box, the real-time bank balance. This is what the bank says you have. This allows you to know with a lot more assurance kind of where things are in the process of getting cleared. We're also fine tuning the reconciliation module in TOPS1. It's an area where we think we had a pretty good reconciliation module for a while, but there was room for improvement. So now we're also surfacing these reconciliation issues on that bank account screen so you can quickly see that and get to them. So when you actually look at kind of check images, this is really kind of exciting as well. When you have a lockbox and the bank is processing the lockbox for you, when you look at the payments that are in that lockbox, next to each payment, you will see a little check icon. If you click that check icon, one of two things are gonna happen. One, a fake check will get drawn to the screen to show you the details on that transaction. And why we created a fake check is that uh, Surprisingly, sub 25% of payments go through the lockbox actually return a check image. So not every bank has the ability to deliver a check image 100% of the time. So in the event that they can't, we at least want to give you an idea of what that check probably looked like, who it was from, who it was to, the amount, so it was really clean and easy to understand. In the event that a real check image is returned, you will see that as well. And again, this pops up in a modal window right inside of TOPS1 makes it very easy for you to do that research to find out you know, why these figures look off, did the check match what we actually saw in a deposit. So again, this is coming online here any day now for the four banks I just mentioned, Alliance, CIT, PAC Premier, and Union. The other thing too is going in here and you see kind of get bank statement. When you choose get bank statement, you pick the statement date, you click get bank statement and we're reaching out inside of TOPS1 to the bank and we're pulling those bank statements directly into your TOPS1 system. Again, Terry mentioned it earlier, we do not charge a premium for storage. We want you to bring every piece of data into TOPS1 that you need to be successful and bank statements are one of those things. So being able to grab those bank statements, get them into the app where you can look at them instead of having to worry about waiting for the mail or going to a separate portal to download them, now they're right here where you can use them.
And then finally, I wanted to kind of show like the reconciliation. This is an area where we wanted to make it a little bit easier for you. And you can see quickly items in red that need attention. And you have the tools to make those adjustments right on the fly. And again, we want to make this experience the best it can be. Any comments on the smart banking stuff, guys? No, I mean, it's exciting. I know that stuff is, is very beneficial to have and not have to, to go in between different programs and, and pull all of that. So really exciting for our clients. Yeah, and again, those features are coming online here really any day now. Could be today, could be next Wednesday, could be the Wednesday after that. Uh, but those things are going to be coming online really, really quickly. Um, we'll have you know knowledge-based articles about how to take advantage of them as they're released. But again, really excited to do that. And on the next kind of on the other on the other side of this, there's even more bank integration stuff that we're getting up, adding more banks into the mix, adding more capabilities. So again, we're going to be doubling down on banking the balance of this year and into 20, 2021. On the immediate three month look ahead, a couple things where we got teed up. Uh, with everything we're doing with AP automation and the online AP submission and the vendor portal, look for us to bring online AP approval into our advanced portals in September. Uh, this will allow you to set up the internal and external rules for managing AP approvals in one. It again works with Vendor Ally and Advanced Portal. You do need to have the Advanced Portal in order to use it. So if you're not sure if it's activated or not, just reach out to our CS team and they can help you get that set up. Beyond that, going into October, you're going to see our first pass at really overhauling requests. Uh, again, as you think about, you know, Terry said it earlier, you got more homeowners that are home now than ever before, that are moodier than ever. So as we've rolled out features that kind of drive better engagement between the portals and the websites and the, the messaging, we also want to make it so that it's a lot more manageable for you to have these inbound requests from owners in a way that you can uh, track them, you can have visibility, you can have reporting. So really supercharging how you manage those inbound requests. And this will be working for every kind of request, architectural requests, service requests, more general kind of requests for assistance or information, all that will be kind of brought online in a much more streamlined fashion here over the next, uh, yeah, probably two months. And then beyond that, it's again, it's focusing again on communications, integration of the SMS messaging, integration of trackable emails, uh, integrating with the voice broadcasts. We have these capabilities today. They're, they integrate seamlessly with TOPS 1, but we will actually want to bring some of that UI into TOPS 1 where you can see the dashboard on that email and you can see a chart showing you how many delivers, how many got open, how many got bounced, how many got unsubscribed, so that you have that feedback in real time inside the app. So again, everything we're doing over the next, you know, call it three months, it's all designed again to make your jobs easier, to, to isolate areas where we think there's room for you to reclaim some of your staff time and make it better. All right, the last thing we want to cover today, and like we went a little longer than I thought, so I apologize, but give us like five more minutes and we'll be done. And the last thing we want to spotlight today is, is improving the user experience. Uh, everything we do, again, is about making your lives easier. We know your job is hard. We want to make it easier. So in Q2, we began the process of implementing Walkman. And so what is Walkman? It's an application that's driven around user engagement that allows us to improve the user experience for you and your entire team. It works with our support tools to serve up important content contextually to where you or your users are. But let's unpack this a little bit more. And Andrew, you can talk about this as we jump in here. You know, sure. why Walk Me should matter to you as, a, per, as a, a user? It's because we know you work hard and we're passionate about trying to help you guys you know, be more effective at your job. We also know that you don't always have time to learn everything inside of Tops One. Features are brought online every week. There's a lot of capabilities there that exist that you might not be aware of. We know that we have an obligation to help you find those things when you need them. Andrew, do you have something to say on that? Um, just want to say that, you know, 
our customer success team, you know, we want to find ways to make your job easier. Um, so we're really putting a lot of effort into building out that in-app guidance um, designed so that your team, you know, specific to whatever their responsibility is, they can quickly access and find relevant answers and resources when they need it. Um, I know we've, over the last year, put a lot of effort into our knowledge articles, and we've seen a, an amazing success um, tenfold what we used to have as far as people utilizing those resources. So we know we're doing everything and we're heading in the right direction. Um, so our plan is just to keep you know, adding these things to, to help make you successful. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, and the thing is, is we know that you're constantly hiring people. We know that people learn at their own pace. This is all about giving people the tools they need when they need it inside the app. So Andrea nailed it. We're doing knowledge base, we're doing videos, we're doing webinars. We've got a dedicated success team our client services team, WalkMe just allows us to bring another layer of engagement into the app for those people that want a little extra assistance. So some of the things you're gonna see coming online inside of WalkMe or inside of Tops One using WalkMe, uh, smart tips. Um, just quickly letting you know what this thing is, why it's important, and links to resources to help you get more out of it. Shout outs. Anytime we need to let you know about something that's going on, a big feature release, a new feature coming online, other kind of company events, just things that allow us to kind of pop a message in front of you and your users. And it's good to read those. Sometimes the best stuff is kind of hidden on those release notes. So always, you know, take that extra minute to, to pop up in that uh, link and take a look at what uh, the data has because I've seen a lot of great things and I'm like oh we need to almost like just shout that from the rooftop because that's phenomenal yeah. yeah it's amazing that people don't read those I mean for years I think that one of the biggest things that our clients would would ask me is just be better be better at communication be better at communication if there's if there's a problem if there's a change if there's an update let us know and let us know and be transparent and so I remember back, you know, 11 years ago when I started, Mike, and we were still doing uh, development on top of professional. I have a story that I like to tell where, where we changed the mailings program. And so, uh, you know, we did that. We didn't tell the support team and, and we got some phone calls. Hey, what's mailings? It looks a lot different. I said, no, it doesn't. We haven't changed it. <laughs> so, so one of the things that we, that we do differently now is in that spirit of communication, anytime that there's any change or upgrade or update or, or even a problem, these are things where you're going to see this in the system that you're at all day long. Um, not only do we just pop up these things, um, again, for, for feature releases, we have a notification system in the application as well so that you can see when we've done something and when we're trying to push you a message. It's, it's something that, that ev almost every single one of our clients asked us to do better at. And the fact that we are better now 11 years later from when I first started, it's really, really exciting, Mike. It really, really is. No, it is exciting. And, and Andrea's right. It's slow down and take the time to read these guys because every Wednesday night we publish new features. Every Wednesday night. Uh, that's a lot of content. That's a lot of goodness coming your way. Uh, this is how we let you know what's going on and how to take advantage of it. Part of Walk Me is also going to be the ability to provide guided tours inside of the app. And this is really where we can have, you know, like kind of take your team member's hand virtually and hold it while we walk them through a process. Maybe it's how to apply charges, how to print checks, how to do enter a CCR, whatever that thing is, giving them guided tours and make that a little bit easier to learn and also a safety net in case they're worried about making mistakes. Yeah, and we know that everybody doesn't learn the same way. So, you know, that's our goal is to, to have multiple venues um, for them to learn through. So you know, keep an eye out for the quick launch app that's gonna be coming to one because it's going to have uh, the tabs like you see on the screen. So it's gonna let you search for items. It's gonna you know, push up webinar links and knowledge base articles. So whether you like to read it, whether you wanna watch it, uh, everything's gonna be there so that you're, you can quickly find it and it's gonna be relevant to the page you're on so you don't have to dig through a lot of content. And then the other kind of thing is just kind of these call outs that allow us to kind of highlight parts of the screen as a part of like that tour where we can show you and, and highlight on the screen. 
a particular item and, and help the user understand why that thing is important. So by the end of Q3 2020, you should begin to see some of these pieces coming online. Our commitment to you is that we are going to continue to add these capabilities for you and your staff to make it easier for you to onboard new people, to learn new features, to get the most out of your TOPS 1 application. All right, guys. So that brings us to the end. Thank you for bearing with me for uh, just over an hour. Uh, thank you for using TOPS, everything we do. Our reason for being here is to make your job easier. We're committed to doing that uh, day in, day out. That's what gets us up out of bed. We've been hard at work trying to get better features into one, driving things that we think are going to make a difference from the search to the vendor portal, accounts payable automation, the advanced portals for owners and board members. We really are trying to give you guys a lot of value so that you can be uh, successful at what you do. And we've got some really great stuff that's on tap. Online AP approval, overall the owner request management we talked about, deeper bank integrations, more resources for your staff to learn how to use our apps. Again, we're committed 100% to kind of making your experience the best it can be. So I would say let's do time for a Q&A, but since we ran long, let's go ahead and uh, kind of kibosh any Q&A today. But if you did post a question in the panel off to the side, uh, what we will do is we will review those and get back in touch with you offline so that uh, we don't leave your questions unanswered. So on behalf of Terry, Andrea, myself, thank you for making time to join us today for our one-on-one. -on -one. Hope you got something out of it. I hope some of you guys are excited about these things. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Again, on behalf of the top team, thank you for being here today. Thanks for making time to spend with us. Uh, Terry, Andrea, thank you for being here as well. And uh, I look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Oops, sorry, I was going to say thanks, everyone, for joining. And if you have questions, um, again, reach out to your customer success uh, managers, and we're happy to help. Uh, you know, whether it's questions or you have uh, feedback on some of the stuff that we discussed today, we're, we're excited to hear back from you. All right. Have a great day, guys. See everyone on a future webinar. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, everyone.